hello and welcome back to my channel today let's talk about how can we model uh, the simple exercise inside the fusion 360 get right into it get right into it uh, before starting the video if you are new on my channel so make sure to subscribe to the channel to be a part of the conversation thank you so let's start the video uh, if you need this model just take a screenshot and later you can use the dimensions to model this part thank you first i'll make the base flange by 50 of 80 and we'll take the thickness 10. okay i'll create a sketch on this top surface i will go for the center point rectangle this is 80 and this one is 50 I'll finish the sketch I'll go for extrude define again okay and from now what I can do is just uh, to go for the okay later I will I will create the appearances but for now uh, what I can do is just to create a uh, 40 and 20 is the thickness okay and if you look at here so 20 is the thickness and this is 40 and what about height or this gap okay from the center i'll go for the sketch and i'll choose this face i'll go for a center point rectangle or just consider this choose 40 and i'll hit enter i'll finish the sketch and if I look at the thickness, it's 20. I'll extrude, choose this, define it 20, and hit enter. I'll create a circle of diameter 24. I'll create a sketch, choose this face, choose a circle. And this is 24. I'll hit enter. I'll finish the sketch. Go for extrude. I'll choose this. And just drag it in the opposite direction. Now, what I can do, I'll go for the another feature. And for that, I will just uh, create a, a rib feature and that is like the thickness is 10 and it's in the middle so what I can do I will uh, construct a mid plane and I will choose this face construct a mid plane I will choose this face and this face. Okay. Now, what I just want to sketch and okay, so it will somehow like like starting from somewhere here like this like this and like this i'll press escape key and now i will apply some constraints the constant make like this and apply this point and this point and now i'll apply this point and this point Okay, and if you look at the individual dimensions, 
So uh, in between this and this, it's 60. So 60 minus 40 is how much? 60 minus 40 is 20. So it means this is 10 and 10. I'll go for dimension and I'll keep it 10. I'll finish the sketch. And now when I want to extrude and I'll skip the symmetry. And if you look at the dimensions, so it is 10. Distance is 10. Right? Was this 10? I think it says taken 20 because it was symmetrical. So I have to edit the feature. And I will keep it 5 on both sides. Now, I want to choose the planes. Okay, this is the plane. So now, I will select this and I will choose this and I will go for the mirror option as you can see over here is the there is the mirror still combine Okay, mirror is here. I will choose this and I'll go for the mirror. Now, object one is selected and the mirror plane is this one. And I will click OK. Now, see, your part is ready. Now, again, if you look at this radius, it is 10 radius. And for the hole, I'll create this. I'll create 10 and choose again I'll go for this and this and this find a 10 and hit enter that's it now what I can do I will create holes of diameter the dia is 10 okay I'll create a sketch on this face and I'll create some circles okay I'll go for the dimension I'll keep it 10 and I'll go for the equal constraints this this and this I will go for the equal constraint, this and this should be equal. Now I will go for the concentric, choose this and this, this and this, this and this, this and this. And I will finish the sketch. I will go for extrude, I will choose the features that you want to cut and I will just cut them drag them in opposite direction now what I can do I will apply some appearance and my felt I will go for the felt one and we will just create this one And let me just close it. That's it. Thanks for watching.